the Brian Johnson story is great because it was actually uh, uh, Johnny Damon's wedding. You know, the year that they won, the Red Sox won and broke the curse, right? So it was like uh, 2004. And so it was already crazy that, you know, having all the Red Sox at this party and at his wedding and Brian Johnson standing there and he's literally wearing like uh, a black T-shirt and jeans. Everyone's wearing tuxedos and suits. And he says, oh, my luggage got lost. But it's like bullshit. You're just yeah, never Brian changed. Johnson and, never changed. And you're dressed. That's how you dress, right? So uh, I, I, I don't know. I was drinking and I was like, hey, Brian, let's like, there's a band playing. You want to sit in and play Back in Black with us? <laughs> and because it was uh, uh, guys from American Hi-Fi and Letters to Cleo. So like uh, Drew and Jamie and uh, Mike Eisenstein. So great musicians and a literal, you know, a, a wicked band. And they all know Back in Black. So I asked him and he literally is like, I, oh, Back in Black. I don't know how that fucking need to me the lyrics of that one. And so he's like trying to sing the lyrics. He's like, Back in Black. I hit the sack. I hit the he's literally <laughs> going through the, the words of this wedding ceremony, whatever, like hanging out. And, he, and he's like, OK, yeah, I'll do it. And we, he gets up there. And uh we start the song and he turns around and he and he grabs looking right at me and he grabs his balls and he's <laughs> and I was like right on that's but and after the after the song I go up to him I was like well that was crazy like, oh I love it when it's tight it's so fucking tight up there <laughs> that's that that's how he shows terrible. his approval <laughs> is a, a good uh, crotch grab yeah <laughs> he loved it.